What's up guys? Today, I'm super excited to share with you the Rincon Smart Ring Gen 2. Roll the intro. So this guys is the sequel. This is a smart ring. It's jam packed with lots of health sensors, which can track your daily activities, including 24 hour heart rate, blood oxygen monitoring. It's thinner lighter, more powerful, and has the best battery we have ever seen in a smart ring to date. You also have a step counter, stress monitor, skin temperature monitoring, and this ring can even detect sleep apnea. Now I've been testing the Rincon Gen 2 for a few months now, and this is my full review sharing with you my thoughts on what this product is like after real time use. Now let's begin with the price. You can pick this up from Kickstarter right now for $209, which is a super early bird price. But I believe there's only like 24 hours left for this special limited offer. So therefore the price would be back up to around $299, which is still cheaper than the leading competing smart rings. So for example, the Aura ring sells for $350 and Samsung Galaxy ring sells for a ridiculous $399. And both of those rings are inferior to the Ring Con Gen 2. And yes, I've tested them both thoroughly. So spoiler alert, the Ring Con Gen 2 is the best smart ring I have ever tested. So save yourself some hassle, time and money and pick this up right now for $209 if you still can and thank me later. Let me quickly show you what you get inside the box. So we got paperwork user manual. You get a high quality braided USB type C to type C cable. You get a smart charging case. So you simply dock the ring inside to charge it up. Now let's talk design. Now I've chosen the matte black color in size 10. So when you place your order, you'll be sent a sizing kit first of all, so you can select the correct size. The Rincon Gen 2 is made from aerospace grade titanium alloy, finished in matte black. You have a medical grade epoxy PVD coating on the inside. So very comfortable when you're wearing it. The smart ring is thinner and lighter than both the Samsung and the Aura rings. Coming in at two millimeters thin and 6.8 millimeters in width and weighs only two grams. So wearing this ring is super comfy and very light that after a while you actually forget you're wearing it. So really like how slim and light this ring is. Now coming back to the charging case, it's made completely from metal and it's also finished in matte black. The case weighs around 80 grams, so nice and light to carry around with. There is a 500 milliamp hour battery built in. You've got a USB-C charging port on the back. And when you dock the smart ring, it takes around 120 minutes to fully charge. Thereafter, this impressive smart ring will give you up to 10 days of battery life. I literally never had to worry about the battery. Very impressive how they managed to achieve this with a ring so slim and light. Gen 1 versus Gen 2 and it's a bit hard to tell them apart until you actually take a closer look at the rings. So can you tell which one is Gen 1 and which one is Gen 2? The charging cases are identical. There is a model number difference at the bottom that will tell you which one is Gen 1 and Gen 2, if you can see it. Um, right, so let's have a closer look at the rings side by side. Gen 2 is actually 24% thinner, 50% lighter and 71% better battery life. You can see the difference in the thickness. Um, weight, we're talking about grams, so it's really hard to tell weight wise. All right, so I'm wearing both rings and I just want to describe how they both feel. There is a very obvious difference. This is the Gen 2 and this is the Gen 1. The Gen 1 feels a lot bigger. It does actually feel a lot bigger when you're wearing it. It's a bit more bulkier. I can certainly feel it on the finger. This one I can barely feel. It's almost like I'm not wearing uh, the ring at all. So that's the difference. I've been wearing the Gen 1 on and off for more than six months and you can see it's quite scratched up. So I took my time with the Gen 2. I've been wearing this for over a month now and I took my time with the review because I really wanted to test the durability. And you guys can see there is not a single scratch on the Gen 2. So it seems like it's more scratch proof and the durability seems a lot better than Gen 1. So that's another positive. And there is no compromise with the features either. This smart ring is jam packed with health sensors. It can monitor your heart rate 24 seven and you can set the intervals every 30 minutes, which is the default, or you can switch to every five minutes if you prefer. Your SpO2 is also automatically monitored, but only when you are resting or sleeping. And during that time, your SpO2 will be monitored every 30 minutes, which is the default, or every five minutes. 
Now, the great thing about this smart ring is that you can also monitor your heart rate or SpO2 on demand manually. So you can see right there, it says measure. If you tap on it, it's going to give you a current reading. It says latest was 1050, 1059 current measurement, 73 beats per minute. OK, I want to do a manual SpO2 reading as well, just to show you. Start measuring. The last mid reading was at 1043. Time is currently 11 o'clock. It's measuring my SpO2. So you should see that update any second now, 11 o'clock, 96% SpO2. You can run one-off manual readings anytime you want, which is a really good feature to have because other smart rings don't let you do this. Now this smart ring can also monitor your heart rate variability, which is the variation in time between consecutive heartbeats. So you can see the latest was 1050, average and range. You have an all day activity tracker. So it will basically track your steps and calories throughout the day. So as long as you're wearing the ring, your, your data is going to be tracked. If you take it off, you will have breaks and pauses in between. This ring also features the best sleep tracking I have ever used on a smart ring. You get detailed reports, accurate sleep tracking. It also tracks your multiple sleep stages. So if you wake up in the middle of the night and go back to sleep, it will log everything, including heart rate, SpO2, HRV, skin temperature, respiratory rate, and lots more. And if all of that was not enough, this ring can also monitor sleep apnea, which is not automatic though. So you have to activate the feature from within the smartphone app as soon as you get in bed. Unfortunately, sometimes you might fall asleep and forget to switch the feature on. So you need to get into the habit of remembering that. But also when you activate sleep apnea, the battery will drain slightly faster than normal. So expect a 10% battery drain every night you monitor sleep apnea. Otherwise, normal battery drain will be between 1% to 3% per night, which is very good. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the ring is very comfortable and light on the finger. Uh, there is no vibration or sound, so it just feels like a regular ring. The ring is also IP68 water resistant, so you don't need to worry about water. I've been washing my hands, taking showers with this on with no issues at all. No marks left over on my finger when I take it off. So it can be worn at any time, all the time, and it can also be worn whilst you're swimming. Now, the best thing about this ring is you don't need to do anything for it to work. All you've got to do is wear it. As long as you're wearing it, all your health activities are automatically tracked. Your health data, your health stats, your sleep, everything is automatic. Furthermore, the smart ring connects to your smartphone via Bluetooth and all your health stats are synced to the smartphone. The app is called the RingCon app and it's available for both iPhone and Android. And I've been using this ring with my iPhone 14 Pro and I love the fact that I have something that can track my health using my iPhone and it's not an Apple product. Um, usually it's Apple Watch, but the problem with Apple Watch is you have to charge it every day. And I'm sick of that. This ring, wear it and you don't need to worry about the battery life. At least 10 days, you do not need to worry. You check your battery life anytime you want. Right now it says 68% battery and it will give me 7 days and 11 hours left. Incredible battery life and incredible compatibility with both iPhone or Android. It doesn't matter which phone you have, this ring will work with it. So that's something that you don't get with other smart rings, especially Samsung's Galaxy Ring. It's very expensive. I have tested it out. It's a little bit more thicker and heavier. Um, there are limitations in the Galaxy Ring, unlike the Samsung Galaxy Ring, which requires a Samsung phone in order to use it. Um, yeah, this one is totally open. It will work with any phone. So the smartphone app has a really nice layout. And right at the top, you've got a picture of a ring. If you tap on it, it will show you your battery life. It will show you your ring size and it will give you some more information on your ring. And if you earn any badges, you will see them here. So the more you wear the ring, you will earn badges for various different activities and stuff that you monitor. You can see my wellness balance report and they're saying I can improve on it. And it gives you a few tips as well. Now you can view detailed reports of any of these metrics by simply tapping on them. And you can view daily, weekly or monthly views of these stats. Another benefit of this smart ring is there is no app subscription. It's a very good app. It's laid out really nicely. And there's a lot there for you to discover about your health. OK, so now it's time to test out the health sensors. I have here my Braun Oximeter. It's a medical grade sensor which you wear on your finger and it will give you an accurate heart rate and blood oxygen reading almost immediately. So you can see there 92 percent blood oxygen and 108 beats per minute heart rate. Now the Braun is just going to keep monitoring as long as I'm wearing it, it's going to keep monitoring it and that's going to change in real time. The smart ring, we're going to run two manual readings. I'm going to measure my heart rate. You can see there the last reading showed 67 beats per minute. 
85 beats per minute on the Braun oximeter, and you can see we're on 81 beats per minute, 92, 88, 87. So the Braun oximeter is dropping down slightly, then both close now, 87 versus 82. Let's hit measure again. All right, so you can see we're neck and neck, 82 versus 82, 79, 78, 84 beats per minute, 82, 80, 81. So it's pretty close, as you guys can see, 83 and 83, 82 and 82, neck and neck right now. The brawn is much faster, so in real time it can calculate those changes quicker, whereas the ring has actually stopped. I have to hit measure again. So when you do a manual reading, it doesn't constantly keep up with the brawn, but you have to run the reading again and you have to wait for a while for it to catch up. But ultimately, it does look pretty accurate to me. You can see it's neck and neck again. So you can see it stopped measuring again, but when we actually measure them both at the same time, uh, we eventually do get that accurate reading. The only thing is the Braun oximeter continuously reads. So any sudden changes in the heart rate, it gives you the result immediately. Whereas when we run a manual reading, it's only live for a couple of seconds, maybe 10 seconds. So in that 10 seconds, it does match up with the Braun. So that tells me we have a beautiful, accurate heart rate sensor in the smart ring. Now we're going to run an SpO2 reading. The last one was around 10 minutes ago. Let's hit measure. So we're running a manual reading. The last measure was 10, 11, 12, sorry. Um, the oximeter is giving us 97%. This is the current reading, 98%. I am happy with that, guys. That is 1% out. It's actually neck and neck now, 97%. This smart ring is nearly as accurate as a medical grade oximeter. It's not as fast because it can't keep up with the real time tracking of an oximeter, but ultimately it gives you close to accurate results. I'm certainly happy with the results. So there you have it, guys. That was the Rincon Smart Ring Gen 2. Now, the sequel is certainly better, and compared to the first gen, this is 24% thinner. 50% lighter, 71% better battery life, and you now have sleep apnea monitoring. You have AI-driven health reports. The charging case is included. Comfortable to wear 10 days non-stop without worrying about the battery. Comprehensive set of health features, so good, it can replace your smartwatch. But of course, the ring doesn't have a screen, so you can't tell the time with it. There is no built-in GPS, so the Ring borrows that info from your smartphone as required. Really impressed with the brand, Ringcon have produced an affordable smart ring with useful, accurate health tracking and great software to go with it. Uh, really nice design, really nice charging case. I highly recommend this product. I was already happy with the first gen Ring, then they released Gen 2, and I can safely say this is the best smart ring money can buy right now. Now, with all of that being said, if you want to see more of my latest and greatest unbiased tech reviews, hit the like button, sub to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.